This is Star Talk. Neil deGrasse Tyson here. Look who I found wandering the streets of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Senator Cory Booker. It's always a delight to be with you. I have, you have no idea that it's my delight, actually. No, 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 no. Yeah. no. This so, is, this is your cut s- the mutual admiration crap. <laughs> the reality is you are, like, heroic to me, and I just want to thank you. No, no, So this is your second time on... I, am I, am I, uh, you, 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 are there many two-timers? <laughs> <laughs> you crossed the moat, the, the, the Hudson River, to join us at, uh, just, up at the I Apollo just, Theater the yes, first time. Yes, And now we're in the Count Basie Theater in we New Jersey. New Jersey. I, Yes. Yes. I crossed the moat back. We have a gravitational force here in Jersey. <laughs> Did you know we That's okay. Most... As long as it's not a black hole, it I'm is, good no, for it. No, no. Did you know New Jersey is the most densely populated state? Yes, I've known that since I was a kid. Oh, I, really? I memorized data like that. Like for, for states. Yes, so yes, yes. I would say everybody wants to be here. Well, so I ask, how could it be the most densely populated state and be called the Garden State? There's something not working about we that. We still are we're like the fourth largest producer of uh, cranberries in the, in the country. Cranberries? <laughs> <laughs> No, you just lied about it. I know that. <laughs> we actually are an abundant blueberries, cranberries. We have wonderful gifts that we give. But, but I have it, never accidentally wandered into a, a, a cranberry patch. T- no. no. <laughs> but, but you should feel at home here because this is one of our greatest states when it comes to science and yes, innovation. that is true. From everything from biotechnology. In to fact, even. you have the highest the density of PhDs per capita yes. in the country. Uh, yes. Because you've got Princeton and Rutgers and all the, the pharma is yes. here. Yes. And, and educational testing services Absolutely. here. Absolutely. And if you go back and you talk. you got a smart ass state. We do. And, and <laughs> I mean, Thomas Edison's biggest inventing yes. period was here. Yeah. In fact, there's a city called Edison. Yes, <laughs> indeed. I mean, everything from the submarine to uh, one of the greatest inventors in Newark, New Jersey, Seth Boyden, who invented everything from malleable iron, which was the first time you can sort of bend and shape iron. I, I didn't know that. And patent leather. Really? Yes. And in fact, one where of would we be without patent? <laughs> I, I, I just want you to know. America. Tuxedos would just look so bad uh, uh, from the knees down. <laughs> exactly. Um, and, uh, and of course, uh, this is the state that invented the M&M. I did not know that. Yes. So which of the ones, is it the green ones or the blue ones? The, 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 I think it was the red dot. Wasn't it the red <laughs> no, no, the ones that, that are an aphrodisiac. There's oh, one, gr- green. The, I would green. say I didn't know. So See, Why is it that you took m and there and you didn't take patent leather there? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you're an interesting man. One so, day, will you dedicate your brain? No, 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 no. <laughs> so I, how... Where are you in your six-year term right now? I am right smack in the middle um, because I was elected in 2013 to finish off the term of the late, great uh, uh, Frank Lautenberg. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so then I was elected for a full term in 2014 Mm -hmm. and have to run again in 2020. Okay, so so you got some time. Yeah, I'm in the midway. Yeah, yeah, because... Repres- ha- members of the House of Representatives with only a two-year term, they're, uh, like, campaigning all always, the time. Always, It's unfortunate. So, yeah, it's unfortunate, but you get, it means you can actually get some work done. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, but I do think that our system, there's a, there's a genius to our system, but uh-huh. I do now see that uh, the other countries have a benefit. Like, China can look forward 25 years, but we're often making, as I watch two now, year, in the two bowels. Two-year decisions. Yeah, in the bowels of the Senate, people are making very short-term, like, how is this going to affect me? Because I've got an election coming up. Right. Is sometimes, unfortunately, I think the way some people might think. So maybe we need super members of Congress who... Uh, they're twenty-year terms. <laughs> and they can put in for the long term. So, for no, this, this matters because if I find an asteroid that's going to come, don't tell me I can't allocate that because I'm not going to be in office when that yes. comes. No, I think climate. Well, you change, have to be alive after it hits. I think climate change is a great example of that. Uh-huh. There, it's unequivocally something catastrophic is going to happen unless we take dramatic action. Happen to our descendants. Yes, to yes. our descendants. But yeah, we're yeah. we're failing to do that because again, people don't only looking at the immediate and the short term. And right. Right. The way that often and the system doesn't allow the long-term view. No. Right, right, right. No. Okay. And there's no rewards for it. I literally mm-hmm. had, and I'm not going to tell you the politician, but I've been spending years working on uh, the tunnels between New York and New Jersey. Yes, when underneath the Hudson in, River. Yes, when I first came in, nothing was happening. I said, we've got to get this going. We had a summit meeting in my office with the uh, cabinet secretary, the governor, and so forth. But uh, one of the famous quotes that was being talked about was somebody said, hey, if I do this on my watch, it won't be until my successor successor that they get to cut the ribbon on this. And they get the credit. And they'll get the credit. Yeah. And so uh, that's unfortunate how people... It's an unfortunate reality. I mean, you understand that sentiment, and we wish the system didn't have to promote that sentiment. Yeah, but also I wish, first of all, there's a statesmanship, there's a patriotism when you Mm -hmm. look at generations yet to come, Mm -hmm. when you plant trees under which whose shade you want to sit. That's the whole point. That's the whole point. It is. Good example. But we need to be... Voters. Wait, what's a tree? <laughs> I live in Manhattan. We do. 
Um, I heard there's a tree that grows in Brooklyn, but other than that. What is the city with the number one cherry blossoms in America? I'm fitting in all this uh, New Jersey Uh, trivia. Is it Jersey? It's Newark. 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 Jersey's more than D.C. No. More cherry blossoms. Lying. I am not lying. Cut, don't cut this. <laughs> Make sure this part gets in. Newark, New Jersey, most cherry blossoms. Really? You should come. We're just missing. I just missing. Right now. A little yeah. bit, yes. Mm-hmm. We peak a little bit after uh, Washington, D.C. As you might expect, because we're farther north. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Uh, the drive-in movie theater invented in New Jersey. Really? First AMF. This, this man did his New Jersey homework. The train <laughs> that connected this country when the Transcontinental Railroad built in Patterson, New Jersey. Really? So, well, Corey, we're about to go do a show here at the theater. So, th- yes. thanks for coming in for well, this. Thank you for your podcast. I oh, think it okay. is uh, just entertaining and, 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 and informative, but it's also kind of inspiring and enjoyable. So well, I appreciate well, that. Thank you. Yes. I, that I, that means a lot to me because we try to make that what the podcast is. Yes. And yep. it's not always that what you intend is what is received. Yes. And if you receive what we intend, it means we're hitting the cylinders. Yes. So that's good. So to I'm going to confirm with you a like last time we had a pre-show conversation. We discussed. I don't know if you remember. We discussed this. all kinds of deep. Philosophical stuff. And physics. Yeah. We, uh, we talked about astrophysics. Yes. Yeah. We confirmed the fact that the stars, even then they're, they're dead, mm-hmm. we still see them as if they're there in the sky. Some of them are still sending their light to us. Yes. Do you know there's a movie that came out last year called La Correspondenza? And it stars Jeremy Irons. It's, it's an Italian movie. And in it, he's an astro he plays an astrophysicist. That's why I know this. And he has a terminal disease. And his girlfriend, his love interest, does not know this. He goes away and he dies. But he preloaded correspondence that oh, wow. she kept receiving thinking uh-huh. he was alive and this is exactly like a star that has just exploded and you don't know it the signal keeps coming but, and, but I think that that's like people like I, I was literally driving in the car and I confess listening to one of my favorite artists Prince he's long gone but the energy that he created while he was here is still living fills the, him. fills the air it's, the, it's like the first rule this is me doing a little geek research I'm trying to get some geek credit here the first rule of we're ther- still checking we're still verifying that the, the, the first rule of thermodynamics <laughs> uh-huh. which is you don't talk about thermodynamics no I'm <laughs> <laughs> it's a flight cup reference for those of you who don't know um, no is uh, about the, the law of conservation of energy right and, and so I, I, it, energy created can't be dissipated right right well it'll become other forms and it's there somewhere right and in this case, what you do is, because he laid song to track, you can resurrect that energy on command. Yes. And have him then... But isn't it true, though, that, that then if I live a life where I generate kindness and love and warmth, even when I'm dead, since that the law of thermodynamics, that can't be destroyed. It goes on somehow. Well, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to... No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going ch- to land that plane at some point. I'm going to cha- challenge you on the landing of the plane. Let me give you an example of this. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. My father, Don't tell me that love transcends dimensions. I am going to... I'm gonna give that you that was a theme of the movie uh, Interstellar, by the way. Right. All absolutely. the laws of physics were contained in their dimension, but love transmitted through time. Okay, and I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate to you. I'm about to take on a physicist here with love and win. Watch this. Okay, so take my father. Mm Mm-hmm. Born in 1936, mm-hmm. poor to a single mother in a segregated environment. Go, and I've tracked his history back to slavery. Poverty from slavery to where he was. And then his life changed. Why? His mama couldn't take care of him. His grandmama couldn't take care of him. People took him into their home and, when he, and, and, and helped raise him. When he couldn't afford to go to college, people told him, you're going to go to college. They took a church collection plate. And 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 so you're talking about karma here. That's no, what you're I'm talking, talking about. about. What's the ROI, the return on investment of those people that put those dollar bills in? Their acts of kindness actually spanned. But pass and, forward. Pass forward and affected generations yet unborn. I would not be here. Those people are long dead, but I would not be here. I'm still benefiting from that light and that warmth. As if a distant star, which has died out, is still affecting generations yet unborn. To provide warmth. Warmth and light. So, so I'll give you one last example. Do you know John Lewis? Yes. The, um, amazing yes. human being. Yes. So when, Civil rights activist, John yes, Lewis. Yes. My mom, my dad died six days before I was elected to the Senate. So my mom mm. took me to go see him. And it was amazing. And it just right before I was sworn in, which was just, and he's so humble. I mean, he was, wouldn't let me get up. He's serving me food. I mean, it's just, he just kept telling me how important I was the fourth elected African American in the history of our country uh, to, the, to the Senate. And he just told me what it meant to him. And I'm sitting there, oh my God, it's because of you and others who fought these battles. Now, years later. Because he was in all those marches yes. and all the Martin Luther King, and he was there. And it, when you go into his office, the, the pictures of him on the of pictures of these mass, amazing moments in civil rights history that you know, March on Washington, 
march over the Edmund Pettus Bridge. But the crazy thing is when you're in your office, you see, wait, you're there. <laughs> you're there. You're in the pictures. It's like having a uh -huh. museum in your house, but you're in right, all of those right. famous moments. Right. So fast forward to me writing a book. I had to go back and research a book that I was writing about my early I didn't life. I you wrote a book. I did. It called United. Nice. And, good title. Um, uh, well, good title until this airline incident. Oh, ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, ooh. But, um, Call it Delta. You'll Delta, be fine. Yeah. <laughs> But one of the stories in the book I had to research was these lawyers that helped my family move in in 1969 to a, 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 a once before um, a segregated uh, environment in New Jersey. So in 1969, all white town, my family tries to move in, can't move in. Uh, real estate agents keep telling them lies, like, oh, that house is sold. They set up a sting operation. White couple follows my parents. After they're told the house is sold, they'll go and find out the house is for sale. The house my parents love, the lawyers set up the sting operation. Lawyers, literally on the day of the closing, when the white couple, on their closing. Swap them out. Swap them Ooh. out. My parents went in. But the real estate. Now, that's a sting. That, that. Real estate agent stands up, punches my dad's lawyer, sticks a dog on my dad. It was such a fantastic story, I had to fact check it. And so I go back to, and I find one of the lawyers involved. And I said to him, why would you do this? He was a young lawyer just starting his practice, not making much money at all. But he took all this time to help black families moving into New Jersey. And I said, why? And he goes, well, I, I know the day. And I go, how do you know the day? He goes, it was a Monday. And I go, how do you know it was a Monday? He goes, because that Sunday I was sitting at home watching my TV and I saw these people trying to march across a bridge and they got beaten with billy clubs and tear gas. And I was so moved. At first I told my partner, let's go to Alabama. Uh, and help, and they said, we can't afford that. So they decided to do the best they could with what they had, where, where they, they were. Where they were. And, and the, one of the first early files that they got was my parents' file. And so think about this. An action, now you know leaping time and space. An action. It's a thread of causes and effect. Thread of causes and effect from uh, marches on a bridge, instantly changing the perspective of a New Jersey lawyer who then goes on to affect generations yet unborn. I would not be a senator today if that causal reaction of love Sparked on a bridge, sparked a lawyer, sparked an activist. Here I am. Okay, I and can so I concede. You, in this case, wait a minute. Only wait a minute. No, no. In this case, <laughs> only. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Love transcends the boundaries of the space-time continuum. This is one of my greatest life moments. <laughs> Thanks okay, we got, we got to get ready to go. Okay. Go Thanks, dude. I'm a huggy. Uh, seriously. All right. All right. Excellent. Thank you, brother. We out. Hey, did you like that? Cool video, huh? Well, how about a bunch of cool videos, all commercial free, plus exclusive original content that you can't find anyplace else, all on StarTalkAllAccess.com.